So this lesson is going to be a quick introduction to inflammatory bowel disease. Inflammatory bowel diseases are autoimmune inflammatory conditions that primarily affect the GI tract. Click the link below or visit nursing.com slash NFN for a free NCLEX ebook covering the 77 key topics. Now, inflammatory bowel diseases tend to go through periods of remission and exacerbation. Now, there's two types, ulcerative colitis and Crohn's disease. So I want to help you guys see how to tell these apart. They're both going to cause things like diarrhea, and they're both going to cause lesions in the GI tract. They're both going to cause pain and cramping, but there is a way to tell the difference. The number one difference between the two is that ulcerative colitis only affects the large intestine or the colon. So what we usually see is this uh, edema and lesions will actually progress to ulcers and they'll move progressively around the colon from the rectum up the ascending colon across the transverse colon and down, colon and down to the cecum. And so when these ulcerations begin affecting the mucosal lining of the colon, we're going to have a lot of trouble absorbing nutrients, absorbing fluids, and absorbing water from our food. So we'll see multiple stools a day, especially during a flare-up. Not only that, but these ulcerations are going to eat through the lining of the colon and cause a lot of bleeding. So these 10 to 20 stools a day tend to actually be bloody or mucousy stools. Now, in contrast, Crohn's disease can actually affect any part of the GI tract from the mouth all the way down to the anus, okay? It can also affect um, other body systems as well, like the skin or the lymphatic system. In fact, where ulcerative colitis tends to spread systematically from one end to the other, Crohn's disease tends to be patchy and regional. So you might get a little bit here in the cecum, a little bit here. You might have some ulcers in the stomach as well as in the, in the mouth, um, as well as over here closer to the rectum. So it's going to be kind of all over the place. Now with Crohn's disease, you're going to see this inflammation that causes thickening and scarring of the walls of the GI tract. And we often see these, these thick walls get abscessed because of this effect on the walls of the GI tract. They're also going to have difficulty absorbing nutrients and water. So we're still going to see multiple stools a day, um, just not nearly as many as with ulcerative colitis. Now, despite the differences, all inflammatory bowel diseases are going to have the same top nursing priorities. The first is fluid and electrolytes. Because of the poor absorption we can see uh, diarrhea, we see severe dehydration and electrolyte abnormalities. We'll also see that they struggle to absorb nutrients and oftentimes will lose their appetites. We call that anorexia. And so nutrition needs to be a priority as well. And then finally, of course, with multiple bloody stools a day, we prioritize this concept of elimination. That includes things like having a potty plan as well as um, doing really good peri care so that we reduce the risk of, you know, skin breakdown or just discomfort around the perineal area. If you need more help breaking down complex topics like this one, make sure to head over to nursing.com slash NFN, click the link in the description below, or scan the QR code to unlock your free NCLEX review that covers 77 must-know nursing topics. Make sure that you learn this, that we love you guys. Now go out, be your best self today, and as always, happy nursing.